Hi everybody, this is Ocarina, aka Building Inspector, aka Oki, and I'm on the AB server doing another how-to video. It's been a very long time and I've been meaning to do this video for forever. What did I title this video? Let's see here. How to moving a group of house items from one spot to another spot in same house. So someone asked me for some help. They created this lovely tree with all kinds of plants around it and it's in the wrong spot. And so they asked me, um, can I move it easily? Now they're in a different country and they have limited use of everything. So um, plus they don't have um, their voice working and all kinds of other things. So this is perfect. I needed to do the video anyway. So here we go. So um, how to get this group of items, how to figure out what group of items it's right there because there's other stuff placed in the house and then move it over to this spot. So what I need to do is Loke is your friend slash Loke. This is where it's going. And then um, I get the general uh, location right here of the start location, okay? I take a main item, any item, actually, it doesn't really matter, but I'm guessing she wants the tree centered. So I'm gonna use the tree. So this tree is not that. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I don't know if it's the tree from the loyalty merchant or from harvesting and it doesn't want to tell me. So I will figure it out once I, once I get it with this item, let's do this one. All right. So what I do is I, I, I'm not going to teach you how to use the layout editor, like how to install it and general stuff. I'm just going to go straight in and um, I have a save layout, the with and then a without. So I like to do both and just in case <laughs> I'm going to do a backup. So I like to do H for house, then the owner of the house. So the owner is Swift Wood and it is the deep water house. And so, um, and I'll say pre move. All right, that way, if I mess something up, I can just reload it and start over. So um, I haven't done this in a long time. I've been out of the game for a while and I'm just back to decorating. So here we go. Um, I'm going to uh, go over to the layout editor and I'm gonna do file open and I'm gonna go down and yes, I have a zillion houses saved just in case. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna organize the stuff and I'm gonna try and find this tree. So I know that the deep, um, what was it? Deep water round tile is one of the items. There are two of them, but the start location is closer. Well, no, it's this one. It's this one. This one right here because of the height. So the height of where I was was 668. So this tree or this round tile is slightly above that because it's elevated from where the tree base is. So this is my culprit right here. There's only two of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a group and I'm going to call it move tree. Okay. And then um, what I can do is um, I can sort. There's two ways to go about it. You can either add everything in the house to the group if there's not that much there and just start removing things that you know for sure aren't there or um, you can do it from here. So um, what I'm going to do is organize stuff by height. So um, and then I'm going to add those items and then I'm going to figure out if they're in there. Okay. So these are all in the 600 range. Let me see. Is everything in the 600 range? <laughs> Pretty dang close. Okay. 
So that's not a good way to sort it. Well, I eliminate probably half the stuff. So let's just go in here and just pick the... Um, do the 600 stuff. Is there a... There's one of these, but not as many. Well, there is a couple that go up. So, yeah, it goes up to the 700s. So let me grab these calming trees because I'm guessing all of them are in there. So I'm going to add those to that group too. So I know that this tent is not part of it. It's further over. So I'm just going to remove this sprawling tent right away. I know for sure it's not there. So, um, and how do I know? Because I saw them over in a different area. So I'm just going to, I highlight, I, so I left click here. I hold the shift down. I go to the bottom. I, I left click again while I'm still holding the shift. I can let go of the shift. I right click the mouse and then I do um, remove from group. Bam, they're gone. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and... Um, See, the, here's the tents, and that's in a different area. So, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. What are these guys called? Rough stone table. Do we got any of those? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to remove them. There's a bench, too. I'm going to remove all those, because I don't think she has that in, in this group of stuff. And then these blocks. What are these blocks called? Um, crude stone block in this stuff. Okay. Remove from group. And did I do the crude ones too? Not yet. All right. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any of those in there. Okay. Um, there is a pool and stuff. So, all right. Let's just test it out. I'm just guessing. I'm not going to hurt anything. I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to click on this top left box here to highlight everything in, in this um, group that I've selected. And all I'm going to do is go click up and I'm going to save it. So I moved everything up by one. Okay. <laughs> you ready? So now I'm going to load it. So I have this handy macro slash load underscore layout space temp out. And that's where my editor saves everything is to that file. So I'm going to click it. And it, it doesn't move enough for me to tell. I should do 50. How about that? I think I should be able to figure that out then. All right. Move it again. Okay. A big group of stuff moved. Awesome. Okay. But do I have anything else? Oh, look at this. I don't want the moving crate. I don't want the teleporter. I don't want this. I don't want that. Okay. And this moved. A few things moved. Okay. So um, I'm just going to um, move everything back. Down. Save again. And then reload it. And then I'm going to um, get the name of this stuff. So, oops. I don't want this. I don't want this. And I can look kind of like the location of this as well to help me figure it out. So, let me move this with half a screen. So, um, I can do, let's see here. I know we don't want this cave drifter. Right? Oops. My third examine is always poop. <laughs> and I haven't fixed it yet. So I'm guessing this cave drifter, which is at negative 71. So that's not the right one. Let me see here. Well, there's only one. Why is it? Maybe the center point's different. Anyway, I'm removing it from the group. I look for the um, teleporter. 
if there was more items that moved, oops, um, I would use the locations to try and narrow it down. So I got rid of that. Let's see here. Uh oh. He's mad at me. I did something wrong. <laughs> I typed something in somewhere when I did Alt Shift. Okay. I'm near the T cell. Let's go to this one first. So let's get rid of this planter. Let's get rid of this. Now, there's another way you can also do it. Um, you can go around and pack up. If you don't have a lot of stuff, you could always pack the stuff up and just unpack it. But <laughs> um, I'm not going to do that. Oops. I forgot the, the um, palm tree. And what was it called? Hey, close to examine. Too, sh too soon. Did I already do it while I was talking? Yep, I already hit it. All right, so then there was something over here. Some... F Where are they? There was, like, flowers over here somewhere. <laughs> uh huh. All right, well, let's just... Uh, I don't see them anywhere. It was these guys, but she, does she have some in there? Um, let's just move these guys up fifty and see what I see what I get. <laughs> okay, so look, scroll down. The ones that negative about negative forty one. remove four I remove four of them that's four of them okay I don't know where the other one is um 10 10 all right well let's just <laughs> um Let's just try and move it somewhere else. Oh, did I move this one back? I don't think I did. That's why I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, there's one in here, I think. Is it right here? Yep. All right. I think we're good. So let's uh, just try one more time. Up. And I am going... Oh, the moving crate. I forgot the moving crate. Okay. Moving crate. Uh, let's move it down first. <laughs> Save. Load. Remove it. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, I think... I think we just got everything... She wants to move. And I don't think we have anything other than that. So I think we're, we're, we're set. So now I'm going to go back to this spot. That's about middle. <laughs> Cause I've, I've already forgotten. Okay. And let's move this stuff down. So I don't forget and load it just in case I accidentally like, Decide to reload and all that good stuff. All right, so this tree, it's about the center point, And I think she wants up the tree on top of this thing. So it is this tree. Why do I want this tree? Well, let me expand this. Oh, it's doing the black thing. Forget it. Okay, the reason why I want this one is because I want to copy the coordinates and have that the focal point. So it goes directly where I want it to go. So what I want to do is I'm going to select everything. I'm going to do group mode by right clicking anywhere, you know, 
and it takes what's selected. But just keep in mind that it will unselect everything because of what I have to type in. So there's two different things you can do. You can move a whole group to from one spot to another spot, or you can rotate stuff, which is this one. Um, this I've never used. Um, it says warning, don't use it. So I've never tried it. Anyway, there might be a new ver version where that one works. I'm not sure, but let's go. So the starting point is this tree. So I just go in here, I double click, and then I alt or control C to copy it. And then I go and paste it there. And then um, I keep going and doing that for all three coordinates. So that's the up and down. And then this one, oops, is the north south. This was east west. Okay, now I need to look at my chat window. Move this over, hover over it. Well, let me get, in. yeah, I'm in this spot. Okay, so now I type in minus, it, it says 2.95. I'm going to say three, minus three, just because. And then I'm going to do 670.86. I'll probably have to move it down a little because um, I'm kind of hovering. And then minus, I'm going to say minus three. Close enough, right? Because I can keep moving it if I want to. So let me unselect that one cell. And then I click back up here. Everything that I want to move is selected. So then I click move. And if you notice, all these numbers change. I can save the group. I can load it on top of me. And bam, there it is. Now it's too, a little too low. So I'm going to have her come take a look. So we'll go up by five and just see what that does. Still too low. I'm going to do 10 this time. So I did the arrow twice. So I see that the, um, the little pool is kind of level with the ground. Oops. I see the grass kind of sticking out. Um, I'm not sure if she's still there or not. And I'm, I'm not sure why she wants it in the middle of this bridge. Like, is it supposed to be hovering above? I don't know. But anyway, you get the idea. So, um, one thing that I can tell you about the rotate thing, just real quick while I'm waiting for her to respond. See all these like numbers and stuff. Um, let me go, go to another item that might be rotated. Let's try this, 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 this mount real quick. Okay. His name was Keith. All right. So I'm going to go up and find him and just rotate him. I know it's just one item. But um, anyway, I'm just to say rotate. Um, you can still do the group mode on it. And what I wanted to tell you is, okay, I can copy this location here. You don't need the up down because you're just rotating. Now, the thing that I found is, okay, it is rotated by 12. Well, you rotate it opposite of what you think. You'd think that you would, let me just try doing rotate 12, okay? So I'm gonna rotate it and it goes to zero. You would think that it would rotate it so that it's 24. Do you get what I'm saying? If you wanna like, anyway, you have it basically match if you want it to undo. 
if you do it wrong, okay. But anyway, and then when you're done, like if you if you rotate something like by seven and you want to move it like just north, but it's northwest or northeast or whatever because of this weird seven number. It's not a zero. It's not 90. It's not 180. It's not 360. Um, then if, if you wanted just to be able to move it real quick exactly to a specific spot where it's easier, you can rotate it so it's zero make your change move it like move it north right i moved it north and then you can undo what you did so i'm just going to quick do south just because but um then you just do group, group mode again and then just put a negative in front of it Boop. save and and you don't have to update it because you changed the location okay so that's how you rotate something. And I don't think she's here. So um, I'll probably have to come back. Oop, I moved teleporters and I think I moved that. Did it? Didn't I? Oh, well. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um. Let's see where there are teleporters in here. I don't see teleporters in here, do you? Am I blind? I'll go through it again. There would be deep water, whatever. Or no. Ether near. Okay. Ether near. Oh, there it is. Oops, there it is. Okay. So what I can do is I can quick fix it. City of Mist. And then this little checky poo. What is she? Lure song. Um, did I move lure song? Okay. So what I'm going to do is save this group. I'm going to remove lure, lure song. Remove. And I'm going to remove the ether near. And I'm going to remove the city of mist. I'm going to remove those. Now I'm going to reload my original um, I can do the pre-move even. And then I just find those three items. So I need the this one. I need this one. I'm holding the shift down. Oops. When I click it. What did I do now? Um, and then I need the lure song. Click. And I'm going to do create group. And I'm going to say fix. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Now, this has the old information. So when I do that, it goes back in place. That's why you back up. <laughs> yep, that's why. Because sometimes you do something you don't want to do. So I guess um, I will just wait for her to find out if I have to tweak it anymore or not. Um, or she can watch this video and attempt to do this, some of the stuff herself. It's up to her. But, um, oh. Like how much is sticking down below. Um, so anyway, uh, I will um, try and do another video to help you with um, like moving an entire room or um, moving stuff from one house to another. So um, stay tuned for those videos. I don't know when I'm going to get them done, but there was an immediate need. So um, I thought I'd help her out. So anyway, um, thanks for watching everyone. And have a good day.